Hello and welcome back to TechnoOvo. My name's Steph and today we are taking a look at Planet Crafter on the Steam Deck. It has just had its 1.0 release on Steam. So what better way to check out this game than to play it on the Steam Deck. And I will run through my best settings to get a nice smooth 60 FPS. Also subscribe. So running quickly through the Steam compatibility tool, going down to properties, I am running the compatibility, force the use of a specific Steam play compatibility tool being Proton Experimental. I've not tested any of the others i selected proton experimental and it worked absolutely flawlessly so let us know in the comments if you found any different first things first let's dive into the graphic settings and as you will see there isn't really much to choose from at the moment i'm running a full screen windowed although i can run that a full screen exclusive as well it doesn't make a difference 1280 by 720 on the resolution with a refresh rate of 60 that's because i've got my vsync ticked uh, if i do untick that i can choose a target frame rate of 60 30 uh, 120 as a maximum or just an infinite keep it unlocked altogether but i do like to keep that locked off graphics quality at medium i found this to be the best balance you could push it to high uh, but uh, currently on medium i am running a very consistent 60 fps especially plugged into my monitor which is absolutely fine in terms of uh, how smooth the game play actually is so i do keep that at medium brightness is around two thirds Field of view is at 60 and screen shake intensity is 100. And the only time I've ever really had an issue with that is when the asteroids are landing and the frame rate does take a bit of a nosedive, but not really enough to warrant turning that off or turning down any other graphics when that goes on. And the, the from what I've seen, from what I've played so far, asteroid, uh, asteroid attacks or asteroids landing uh, doesn't really last too long, to be honest with you. And for the most part, I am pretty much at the beginning of the game. I've only been playing for maybe, I would say, between three and five hours, something like that. I've got my little, like, hab here. Um, and then I'm at the very, very beginning of the game, and I've found no real issues at all with running this title. It is very, very easy to run on the Steam Deck, which is absolutely lovely. As you can see, for the most part, I am running 60 FPS. It does dip to that 58 from time to time and hang there a little bit, but it doesn't feel very stuttery at all. One thing you might want to do, depending on how much of a controller gamer you are, is the controls. They are a little bit strange. You would expect A to be jump, but right trigger is jump, and A is your action button. So if you go up to a resource, for example, uh, which is over here on the floor, it will come up with a prompt A to harvest rather than right trigger to fire what you would conventionally think is a weapon it's not uh, the other thing as well is the sprint button is um allocated to left trigger which is rather strange again as well when you think generally with first person titles sprinting is done by clicking in the analog stick so or the left analog stick should i say uh but that's really all i found so far the top bumpers don't do anything y turns on your torch b opens chat an A, as I say, is your select um, or your action button. And really, apart from that, everything is... I mean, it's a basic looking game anyway, right? I mean, it's not not exactly a challenging game to run. Uh, so it does look relatively decent as well uh, and nice and smooth. If I was to bump that up, say, to um, a high graphical preset, save my settings there... You can see already we've dipped down to the 50s. It's still absolutely playable, but it's very, very quickly dipped down to that mid 50s. Um, but still, I say keeping quite a consistent 60, but not as consistent as sticking to a medium graphical preset. And to be honest with you, does it look any different? Not really. Uh, just to show you worst case scenario, if you were running on a maximum graphics preset with that V-Sync on, you are looking at it going down to roughly the mid 30s, 40s. And again, to be honest with you, it doesn't really look any different. So why you would run it at ultra just to limit your FPS that much more, I don't really know. I would stick that to, stick to the medium on there like that. And then again, if you turn off the V-Sync uh, and then save that come out of the graphics, 
you don't really push much past 60 fps anyway i suppose if you do start maybe getting closer to thing no you don't you don't even brush past it so v-sync on or off it's not going to make any difference at all to you so keep it keep it on lock it off lock it off at 60 and uh and everything will be absolutely fine diving into the controls just to show you it's got you keyboard and mouse controls here but if you scroll down you can start um rebinding your controller controls as well as i say if you want to jump on a and then uh, action on right trigger then you can absolutely do that i've not got hugely far into the game to know if any other controls are going to pop up and, and surprise me on those bumpers or analog sticks for example uh, and then back button there's no map so whether it's just as simple as that then uh, that's absolutely fine as well but as i say for, for the few hours that i've been playing this game as as you can see i've not quite got to blue skies yet uh reach a reach a blue sky 175,000 ti i am currently at uh 25 percent of that of my current objective so not too far away which at the moment has been absolutely fine it's been really really playable in the time that i've spent with this game really happy with it thank you very much for checking out this video if you did enjoy it then please hit that like button subscribe to keep up with our latest steam deck videos and let us know in the comments down below what you thought about planet crafter is it something that you're going to be picking up and is it something you're going to be playing on the steam deck let us know in the comments down below as i say thanks very much for watching and we will see you in the next video